Hi gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be playing with Gourmand Girls. And if you've hung around here long enough, you know that I love my indie brands. This one is a new brand to me, but I have been following them for quite some time, waiting for my perfect palette to be launched. And today is that day. So this is what we are going to be playing with. Gourmand Girls is an indie brand based out of Texas. This is a 12 month shelf life, cruelty free, vegan friendly palette. It is still currently in stock on the Gourmand Girls website for $55.99. You can use a code. I do not have a code. However, there are plenty of creators who do. Save yourself some money. These are just stunning shades. I only play with the peach shades for today. And I do want to mention that the owner, Christina, she also collaborates with Doodles by the Bunny for actually several palettes, I believe it is. There are still several in stock. They have an incredible selection of colorful palettes. The Christmas palette that everyone wanted from last year, I believe that one is restocked the last day. Check, checked, not check. And the, I want to say the Halloween palette is currently restocked as well. Let me double check that. Ah uh, yes, Nightshade is currently still in stock. Silent Night is in stock. That was the one that I wanted when it was sold out. I need to pick that one up. The Spooked palette is sold out. I'm not sure if they're gonna be restocking that or not. And you can get the Peach Perfect palette with the new lip oils. I have an entire plethora of indie makeup here just waiting for me to play with. They've been sitting on my vanity. Life has gotten away with me. So I'm gonna be playing with an indie palette today because it's long overdue and one that has brought me a lot of joy just looking at it. Well, actually every single one has brought me joy looking at it. But this one I've had the longest. I'm pretty sure this one. This is the Gourmand Girls Peach Perfect palette. Every time I look at this, the peach colors are the ones that scream at me, but I'm also a huge green lover as well. I love the tones. This is so beautiful. I have been waiting to play with this one. This is my first Gourmand Girls palette. I'm excited because I, I have an affinity for indie palettes. If you've been around here long enough, you know that the indie palettes bring me the most joy. The, the color stories are always the most unique, more affordable to begin with, and the, the shimmers, Nobody does shimmers the way indies do. I wanna play with it before swatching it because I wanna be happily surprised. I always love coming up with a look that surprises me, but for sure this is the peach shade that is screaming to me. I have to play with this one first. I'm gonna start by picking up this shade Peach and Quiet and pack this onto the outer corner here. And I wanna get most of the shade off before I start to bring it into my crease. I. I think this shade would work with my blush and lipstick. And this eye makeup is separate from the face makeup. The face makeup is in the video that's already up. If you want to see that, it will be linked down below. I'm going to take that same shade Peach and Quiet and bring it on my lower lash line, but right here about halfway down, halfway across. I'm gonna take the shade Peach Perfect and I'm gonna place this right over the top of that outer edge of Peach and Quiet and buff it out with this shade, which is a lovely shade. Okay, first of all, the matte formula, I forgot to tell you, with just the shade Peach and Quiet is so buttery. I hate that this is my first palette. I always wait until I see a color story that screams to me to try a new indie brand, despite the fact that I have so many indie brands in my collection. And this is the color story that I just could not stop thinking about. The promo pictures did me in. I haven't had any fallout from this shade. This was not intentional, but it kind of matches my nails. And my nail polish is a Lacquer from an indie brand. I can't think of the name off the top of my head, but I will definitely put it down below. The shade is called Calcifer from Howl's Moving Castle. I'm gonna go in now with the shade I'm Peachless on the outer edge here. And without doing too much to cover up that original peach shade, just kind of deepen it up some. And this will give me a chance to see how well it layers. Peaches are one of my favorite fruits, so I love 
being able to do a peach eyeshadow look. I'll have to blend off camera, but these are just blending so beautifully. I'm just gonna build up a little bit of that peach and quiet shade that I lost by going over that outer edge a little bit with just a touch more. Layering these is working out fabulous. I'm not having any issues with layering and I always like to test a layer to see if they get patchy or not. This is not doing that at all. And then one more time with Peach Perfect, right over the edge. Blended out, that's stunning. Not blended, blended, perfect. I'm gonna take the shade My Peach Boys on a small My 29 brush from Danessa Merrick's My Kitco and very carefully buff this into the inner third crease. Just for an extra highlighted peach pop before I do my shimmers. And now on a pencil brush with peaches and cream, I'm gonna highlight my brow bone. And I'm gonna take that same shade, peaches and cream, and put it into my inner corner. I'm at a loss here because I really don't know what shade I wanna use for shimmer. These are all so beautiful. Let's try swatching a couple. Peachy Keen. Ooh, it's got a little duochrome shift to it. You're a peach. A little more pinky. Papa don't peach. Maybe mix these two or just stick with Papa don't peach. I think I'm gonna do Papa Don't Peach because honestly, it's giving me the, the vibes of my nails. <laughs> Let's try it without anything on my lid. Oh my gosh, I love this shift. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm gonna try a touch of glitter glue on this lid and then try going over it. And I might just put a matte on the inner third and let that Papa Don't Peach do all the talking. And I apologize for my phone, I have it on. I wanna get any phone call I can from my son while he's in basic training. Now let's try it over that glue. Oh my gosh. Yes, 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 yes. Good job, Christina. Perfect. You don't even need the glitter glue. It's only a very subtle difference. It's so reflective. I don't need that glue at all. I can just layer it with my finger. It looks amazing. I'm gonna do something a little bit different for myself and put peaches and cream right in the first third of my lid. And then I'll blend it into that shimmer. I'm using the shade Peachy Keen on a damp brush on the lower one third. And now last but not least, I took the shade Peaches and Cream on a Sigma E40. I'm going to gently buff around that outer lower edge. I'm going to use this Nabla Cupid's Arrow. This is in the shade Maroon. I'm going to put this one in my waterline. And then I'm going to finish my eyes and come right back. I finished off my look with the Kiss New Natural Lashes in the style Gold Hoops. I'm not the best at wearing full lashes. I give it a shot. I like this style. I think they're very beautiful and lightweight. I'm super proud of the look that I came up with. For my very first Gourmand Girls palette, I love it. It is so beautiful. The color story is what I finally pulled the trigger on. Every single palette that they have, they are so beautiful, but there's something about the color stories that weren't perfect for me. They're gorgeous, especially their holiday palette. I don't remember, I think it's sold out. I think that was the reason, the Christmas palette, I think that's why I didn't get that one. When I originally saw that one, that one I think was in collaboration with Doodles by the Bunny and I wanted it so badly it was sold out. I think that one was restocked. I'll have to double check, but otherwise, there's always something about every single palette that I reach for that the color story has to be perfect for me. It has to drive some sort of creativity in me that I wanna buy it. This one did that. I love peach tones. I like peaches in general. I think peaches are delicious. But peach tones are so lovely, especially for spring and summer. I feel vivacious. I feel delicious. This palette is just stunning. I use seven shades. The mattes are buttery soft. This shade here that drove me to want to buy this palette to begin with is the perfect peach shade. I couldn't stop myself. This is just so beautiful and it was so creamy. It feels like cream on my finger. It doesn't feel like a traditional powder matte. It feels buttery soft. There's no fallout on my face. I didn't have fallout on my face at all. That is already delicious. 
just for formula. And then for the shade Papa Don't Peach, the shift to that is stunning. I don't always play with shifty shades, but when I do, I really want you to be able to see all the facets of that shift. I love that I get to look like a peach today. Everything on my face is linked down below in the description box. So if you click on those links to make a purchase, I do earn a small commission. Thank you so very much for supporting my channel. Do something for yourself today because you are always worth it.